Hey everyone, Ren Dragon from the Battle Camp Bible. My previous video, I merged a Technicolor with a tail light, and now I'm about to do a mixed merge evolution. A lot of people are curious about how this works, and my main point for merging was simply to change the zodiac. So I don't really care about merging the rest of the mob. And uh, I noticed something interesting. When you go to evolve a mixed merge monster, it shows different stats on the right rather than like the exact stats if it's 100% perfection. Well, this one says 101%, and I'm thinking that that's because the Technicolor has slightly better stats than the Taillight. 1% better, to be exact. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to evolve this and max it and compare the numbers and see exactly how mixed merge evolutions work. So here we go. 101% perfection. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right, now we have a merged evolved monster with some brand new stats never before seen. And now I'm going to max it. I think I've maxed enough things to do this in one fell swoop. Um, yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so maxing. Woohoo! All right, some never before seen stats on a smash light. I'm going to inspect these numbers and we'll do a little comparison about how this works and figure it out. Okay, so I took a little break and checked out the numbers for this mixed merge evolution and it was not what you would expect. I personally would, my theory was that it would be a 50-50 split between the evolved versions of these two mobs, but that is not the case. So I will be taking a look at those numbers and explaining how BC got them and also how to use my calculator to find out what the stats of a merge mob will be. Okay, so go to my monster merging page at battlecampbible bcrank.us slash monster dash merging or just go to the Battle Camp Bible homepage and click on the merging article. So I still have my basic information about merging and how that all works and stuff. Um, but then uh, I now have updated my mixed merging evolution section on the page to reflect what actually happens when you do a mixed merge evolution. For my example, I used my tail light and technicolor that I uh, merged in my previous video and just evolved in this one. So when you merge a mob, it's the stats are really simple. It just takes the stats of the mob that you used for monster B, bonus monster, whatnot. So yeah, that's easy. Uh, this is just a little thing I did to kind of show what that would look like in the BC rank catalog. But, um, BC Rank's not doing that, by the way. That'd be, like, crazy. That's a lot of work. But anyway, so that's, like, technically my merged taillight and its stats. So my theory was that it would take the stats of the two evolved versions of the mob over here that I have pulled up on the BC Rank catalog. And, uh, well, and also on my page, just so for easiness to see the two side by side. Um, basically, if you were to add the stats of the two together and divide, you'd think that would be the number. Alright, so I'm going to use HP as the example, and all the stats work the same way, by the way. And my calculator includes all three, so you can find out all the stats of a potential merge by visiting um, that section of my page and using the calculator. Anyways, back to the math. Uh, so this was the theory on how they would do the stats on the finished monster once you evolved a non-merged monster with the merged one. 
So basically, if you were to add 19,938 of the Smashlight and then 20,500 of the Techniconqueror, you get 40,438. Divide that by 2, 20,219. Well, as you can see over here, it is not 20,219, it's 20,406. There is actually um, more HP than I expected, uh, which is good because this is a, my PvP mob, which is what I wanted for PvP is more health. So um, it's got 187 more health. That's cool, but how did they get that? Because it's closer to the Technicolor's number, which um, you'd think that it would be closer to the Smash, Smash Lights number because it's like three. Well, I guess technically the Technicolor uh, is just kind of half of one of the parts of the evolution, so I consider it like a quarter of it. But it's clearly not the case if it's closer to the Technicolor's number. So here is what I have figured out is that it's actually five of the like feeder monster B bonus monster, five of their stat, and then one of the uh, the actual monster, monster A. Uh, what I found was that it's actually five basically of the bonus monster Monster B stats added together with one of Monster A actual monster stats and then divided by six. So, um, that's weird. But, um, basically, I gotta fix this page. This isn't lined up right. But anyway, basically, yeah, you take that number and divide it by, uh, six. So, yeah, I'll just do it by hand to show that. Basically, I'm just going to do it by hand to show that uh, 19,938 is the Smash Light Space Health, and then we can add it together with the Technicongers 20,500, except five times that. So let's continue on breaking down the math on this. I'm going to use a calculator because I'm dyslexic and anything can go wrong with that. So multiply it by 5. Alright, so we get 102,500. Add it together with the base of the smash light, which is 19,938 equals 122,438. Divide that number by 6, we get to 20,406, which, if you look at these stats, look at that, 20,406. And there's a decimal here. BC never shows decimal places when it comes to mob count, like mob stats, unless um, if you're in the information or whatever on stats, sometimes it'll give you a decimal or two on some of those statistics, but for the most part, BC rounds down. But uh, anyway, I said that my calculator works for all the stats, so let's give it a try on this mob right here. So attack for the smash. Actually, we don't need the calculator. All right, attack for the smash light is 1,453, and then we've got 19,938, recovery 1,400. Five. And then on mon bonus monster, monster B, the Technicolor, it is 14, 1,412 for the attack, 20,500 for the HP, 1,530 for the recovery. So click calculate and we get these numbers. Let's take a look. 1,418. Perfect. 20,406, perfect, perfect again, 1,522, so this is 1,523, it's only a number off, and it's, there's going to be a number off here and there because of the weird way that BC does decimals, but it works.
I mean, is one point really going to matter? <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you are considering doing a merge with one monster and evolving it with a non-merge monster, use this calculator, find out if it's got the stats that you want in the end, if it's worth it, and whatnot. So um, thank you for watching my video on monster merging. Hope that this clears up some air about how this kind of stuff works, this mixed merging. And um, yeah, don't forget to check out my website, battlecampbible.bcrank.us, for more battle camp information, guides, help, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, so have a fantastic day, everyone. The end. <laughs>